in this section we are going to discuss in brief about the schedules to the dnc act the first schedule to the dnc act gives the names of various books that fall under the ayurvedic siddha and unani systems and are meant to be followed while formulating drug products belonging to the systems for more information about these books you can refer to the first schedule the second schedule gives the standards to be complied with by drugs that have been imported and by local drugs that are manufactured for sale or they are sold or stocked or exhibited for sale or distribution in my subsequent slides i am going to discuss more in detail about the standards to be complied for these drugs namely the imported ones drugs for manufactured or sold or stocked or exhibited for sale and distribution moving forward here it is reproduced the standards to be complied with by various categories of drugs which we will look into one by one first comes the patent or proprietary medicines that is other than the homeopathic medicines now patent or proprietary medicines if you recollect are those medicines which are not official in the pharmacopoeia of any country or any formulary so what is to be done in such a case is the formula of list of ingredients which has to be displayed on the label of the container and the standards that are prescribed must be followed so there are no official criteria for these medicines to follow but whatever has been laid down by the manufacturer has to be followed substances such as vaccines sera toxins toxoids anti toxins antigens and biological products for human and veterinary use have to comply with the following standards there are standards maintained at the international laboratory for biological standards stantons serum institute copenhagen and at the central veterinary laboratory in the uk and several other laboratories recognized by the who from time to time which maintain standard samples of all these and these have to be referred and further standards of strength quality and purity as prescribed have to be followed all substances other than food intended to affect the structure or function of the human body or intended to be used for the destruction of vermin or insects which cause disease in human beings or animals so basically this refers to the drugs of allopathic origin these we prescribe to the standards that are official in the pharmacopoeias or other relevant formularies or in house standards in case of homeopathic medicines they have to follow the standards specified for time to time in the homeopathic pharmacopoeia of the usa or the uk or germany for whatever medicines are official there for those drugs which are included and are official in the ip or the indian pharmacopoeia standards of identity purity and strength specified in the edition of the pharmacopoeia that is in force for the time being and any other standards that it is relevant in case of standards of identity purity and strength for those drugs which are not official in the latest edition of the uh, ip but are specified in the earlier edition of the ip then those standards will be applicable so once again uh, repeating drugs which are official in the latest edition of the ip will follow and prescribe to the standards that are given in the latest edition of the ip for those which are not official in the latest edition of ip but are official in the earlier edition of the ip then the drugs should follow the standards that have been given in that particular edition of the ip 
drugs which are not included in the ip but which are included in the official pharmacopoeia of any other country in such a case the standards for identity purity and strength that are specified for the drugs in the edition of official pharmacopoeias of any other country for the time being in force have to be followed and any other standards which are prescribed also have to be followed in the case in case that the standards of identity purity and strength for the drugs are not prescribed in the latest edition of the ph official pharmacopoeia of any other country but they are official in the previous edition then they will follow the standards of identity purity and strength in from these earlier editions of the pharmacopoeias of uh, the other countries as well as any other uh, standards that may have been prescribed for ease of understanding i have put here a sample form that is form 20b all forms are more or less similar with slight change in wordings so what we are going to do here is we are going to refer only one form and i would advise all of you to go through all the other forms that are given in the dnc act right from form 9 form 11 form 21 etc so this is form 20b which is of which is uh, for license to sell stock or exhibit or offer for sale or distribute by wholesale the drugs other than those specified in c c1 and x so this is a license to sell which is given in the form 20b dash is hereby licensed to sell or stock or exhibit drugs other than those specified in schedule c c1 and x on the premises remember it is important to have your own premise or a rental premise exclusively for the purpose of sale we have already discussed this subject to the conditions specified below and to the provisions uh, of the dnc act 1940 and the rules thereafter the license shall be in force from so dash to dash that is a total period of 5 years the sale shall be made under the personal supervision of a competent person by the name dash okay so this is where the date will come and the license number given by the licensing authority will come and as you can see below the conditions for license uh, for issue of license are given and what are these conditions the license shall be displayed in a prominent place in a part of the premises where the public can see it the licensee shall comply with the provisions of the dnc act and rules no drug shall be sold unless such a drug is purchased under a cash or credit memo from a duly licensed dealer or a duly licensed manufacturer no sale of drug shall be made to a person not holding the requisite license to sell stock or exhibit the drug provided that this condition not shall not apply to the sale of any drug to an authority on behalf of the government or to a hospital or medical or educational or research institution or to a registered medical practitioner for purpose of supply to his patients a manufacturer of beverages confectionery biscuits and other non medicinal uh, non medicinal products shall not be allowed to sell drugs the licensee shall inform the licensing authority in writing in the event of any change in the constitution of the firm operating under the license and when any change in constitution takes place the current license shall be deemed to be valid for a maximum period of 3 months from the date on which the change takes place and in the meantime a fresh license should be taken from the licensing authority with appropriate change in the firm name or constitution or place etc so this was just to give you an idea about a form that is this one is a license form in this manner we have learnt about several forms for application and forms in which licenses are obtained all these are available in the dnc act on the net which you can download 
and see for yourself for your benefit and for future prospects